on today's ProPresenter show. What does Convert Media Cue to Slide Element do, and what to do if you choose it by mistake? Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where every week we talk about the features, challenges, and tips and tricks with using Renewed Vision's worship presentation software, ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. Over on the ProPresenter Users Group on Facebook, tdm.fyi slash ppug will take you there, someone posted that he'd accidentally clicked Convert Media Queue to Slide Element, and he wanted to know what that option was for and how to undo it. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. You're in ProPresenter, you right click, and you mean to click Media Queue Behavior or Remove Queues or something like that, and you accidentally click Convert Media Queue to Slide Element. So, first off, what does that do? And secondly, how do you undo it? Well, let's click it and find out. So when I do that, notice this was a foreground video. It had this icon down here. In fact, that's the video that it was. So it had a foreground video icon, and now that foreground video icon is missing. So, what does that mean? Well, when we click on that, and let me go ahead and pause that. Oh, I can't pause it. So I'm going to click Clear All instead. Let's now right-click and select Edit Slide. And what we find is that it's still here on the slide. Of course, we knew that because it would um, show up. But now we notice that it's set up as a video element. So this is as if you had gone up here and clicked this guy, right here, this icon, to add it at that time. So how do you undo that? Well, the first thing I would do is I would just click on it and then hit the backspace or delete key, depending on the keyboard you have, and get on out of this. Now just add it back in as uh, you did before, and you're back where you were. Um, by the way, as an aside, notice that when you go from the foreground and drag it in between slides, it adds it as a new slide. So. That's another possibility of what you can do. Backgrounds, when you put them on the slide, they become a background for that slide. But when you uh, put them in between, they become a new slide with that as a background. So that's slightly different behavior. So something that you need to know as you're uh, working through this that you could inadvertently create new slides and if you wanted this to be located on the slide instead of a uh, background you can convert media you to slide element and now when you click on it it's actually a slide element instead of a background so that's something else you can do again to reverse it click edit slide click on it and delete and now it goes away so important stuff for you to know on that one little thing which is convert media to slide element well, there you go. That menu option just makes it easier to put media on the slide layer if it's 
either a foreground or background piece of media. You might use this if you're doing my ProPresenter hack that puts two videos on top of one another, or if you have a background video that you want to show up on that one slide only. So that's what it does and why you'd use it. By the way, if you like learning about ProPresenter this way, head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash pro6mini, P-R-O, the number 6, M-I-N-I, to sign up for one of my ProPresenter 6 mini courses on picking out the right hardware for ProPresenter, creating ProPresenter presentations, running ProPresenter during church, using ProPresenter if you're a pastor or teacher, or taking your ProPresenter knowledge to the next level with some of my favorite hacks, tips, and tricks, like the one I mentioned earlier. Did I mention they're all free, instead of the normal $19 each for tuition? If instead, you'd just like to go ahead and get one of my full-length ProPresenter courses, head over to LearnProPresenterFast.com. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity. <music> Click subscribe and then the bell icon to find out when I release each new tutorial. You know, all the cool kids are doing it. Why not you? Do it and be one of the first to learn about them but you'll also be able to enter the contests that are about to start for people who watch in the first 24 hours. By the way, the Rebels are doing it too, so whether you want to rebel or conform, subscribing is the way to do it.